How's everybody doing? This is Ruben once again with Philosophy. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you liked any of my past videos, please subscribe to the channel, like or comment on the video. It would be greatly appreciated. Also, make sure to visit our Facebook, our Instagram, our Twitter. We add greater power information there on a regular basis, so make sure you check that out. <clears throat> Today, I want to talk about every time you think a thought, what happens? We talk about thoughts brain, frequency, vibration. Every time you think a thought, what happens? Your brain frequency, you, your brain broadcast a frequency. That's basically what it is. Science, science has measured this already. They can measure your brain frequencies. Every time you think a thought, they have measured the frequency there's a frequency coming out of your brain every time you think a thought and guess what it also affects physical matter for example science has actually made several studies on this where your brain you think a thought and your brain throws out a frequency and they have like another subject let's say they put a glass of wine or a book or a bar of gold and the gold is, is the same it looks the same but the frequency changes it, ha it changes the frequency changes uh, a great movie that you should watch is what the bleep do we know rather they give you the scientific explanation and of the study that was made by the science community so, when you think of thought, we talk about the law of attraction, like attracts like. Thoughts first attract what? We talk about how your thoughts, you, it's a frequency put in a, being put out of your brain, out into the universe, and then you attract that to you. But what's the first thing thoughts actually attract? The first thing they attract is other like-minded thoughts. That is why when people start thinking negative, if they don't change it, they go on a spiral downward. And they just become depressed and hopeless. Right? So thoughts attract other like-minded thoughts. But the same thing happens when it's positive. Thoughts. You think a positive thought, you're going to attract another positive thought. Then another one, another one, another one. Until you decide to change it. Or you allow it to be changed. You know by negativity or whatever how do you know if you are thinking good or bad thoughts right you know I think of thousands and thousands of thoughts a day how do I know I'm thinking like how can the easiest way that you can that that you can do this without going crazy is just measuring not your thoughts or what your thoughts are but how you feel when you feel good, you know you're thinking good thoughts. When you feel bad, you know you're thinking bad thoughts. So if you feel bad, just change it. Just change it. It's very simple. What, you know, you have to have a dream book. Do you have a dream book? We talk about how great of a tool it is. Do you have a dream board? Do you have a specific chief aim? Remember Napoleon Hill says that if you want to make a dream come true, one of the things you have to do is have a chief aim. Make that your chief aim in life. And you will, you will make it come true. So you have a specific chief aim. Do you know what your chief aim is as sure as you know what your own name is? That's how much you should know your dream and you should have your chief aim. Like you must know it. Like if I tell you what's your chief aim, you must say like, like your name. Like I ask you what's your name, you're not gonna think about it. You're saying it. That's how you must know your chief aim and feel your chief aim within you. Something magical happens when you type your dreams on a piece of paper or in a computer. Typing is good in this age, and it's a great tool. It 
produces, it, it, it increases productivity to levels we never thought possible. It's a good thing. But when it comes to your dreams, goals, and desires, and putting them down in, in, a, in, in a format or something, nothing magical happens when you type your dreams on a computer. Or on a piece of paper. The way you get something magical to happen when writing your dreams is to write it on white piece of paper, on a white blank piece of paper with blue ink. When you write, not typing, but when you write, when you when you write your dreams, that's why the dream book is very important. When you write your dreams on a white blank piece of paper with blue ink, one you're making over ten thousand physical movements when you write. When you write, you're making over 10,000 physical movements. That means over 10,000 neural pathways are being created in your brain. So 10,000 neural pathways are connected with, with your dream because you're, you're, you're physically, physically writing, specific, especially cursive. The reason a white piece of paper, blank piece of paper with blue ink is important is because when your brain captures that blue ink on that white blank piece of paper, the brain is a, in some way it captures it much more profound and it stamps it real good in your brain when it's on in blue ink with a white blank piece of paper. That's how you get magical things to happen, writing it down. When getting pictures of your dreams, how do you make the pictures more powerful? You have your dream board, you're putting pictures on it. How can you make those pictures more powerful? Very easily, put yourself in the picture. A good idea is, for example, if you want a certain car, get a picture of the car, put it on your dream board, and then get cut out a picture of yourself and put it right next to it. But the best way to do it is, if you want a certain car, go to the dealership, stand next to the car, and have somebody take a picture of it. Take a picture of you, you know, in the car or by the car, or whatever, and put it on your dream board. That's how you make the pictures more powerful. When you have a dream of something tangible, and specific you want how do you make it more real physically touching it for example if you want a certain car as we talked about if it's something tangible and specific like a car if you can make it more real then your belief will increase and how can you make that more real physically touching it Go to the dealership and touch the car. Test drive it, feel the wheel. Touch the leather. Smell the car inside. Touch the outside paint. Physically touching it. That will increase your level. Will increase your belief, excuse me. Will increase your belief that, you know what, this is possible. This is just, this is just mass, physical mass. It's possible, people are getting this. I can get it too. That's the whole point, getting your belief up that you can get it. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, like or comment on the video. I'll see you guys next time.